Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive. We've discovered the city of Providence has paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to outgoing workers in just under three years. Earlier this month, we revealed a six figure severance for a high paid city employee, prompting us to look into how common it is for outgoing city workers. Target 12 has also learned at least one severance package was never approved by the city council, even though it should have been. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. Since 2015, the city has signed 26 separation agreements with an employee as they walked out the door. The documents we reviewed show the money they received varies from four to six figure payouts. Since Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza took office in 2015, the city has handed out nearly $390,000 in severance pay to 26 employees. Target 12 obtained these separation agreements through a public records request. The largest severance package is for the former head of Human Resources, Sybil Bailey. She's set to receive a check for $138,000 and a year of health care. Several separation agreements come with payouts under $5,000. In July 2018, the city council made it clear any severance above 10 grand needed to be approved by the council. But Target 12 discovered just two months later in September, the city handed over a $43,000 severance package the council never knew about. That separation agreement went to former DPW fleet manager Michael Grant, 40 grand for six months of salary and another 2,500 for five days of unused vacation time. Lawyers for the city acknowledged the payout should have received the council's stamp of approval. In a statement, the council appointed city treasurer James Lombardi says he didn't know about all the severances, adding the administration is aware of the ordinance requiring council approval, and I question the secrecy and need or purpose of some of these payments. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.